Welcome back to our casual playthrough of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It's Jekadasa Gugion Gamers, and we are on top of the stable, and we're going to talk to Pen. I'm pretty sure I already talked to him about this one. Um, I think it had to do with something about the, the Yiga and the twins, and so it's probably these dueling peaks of some sort, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to talk to him now and see if I can remember it better. Well, hey, partner, you heard anything? Any new chirps and warbles? I'm keeping watch, but I doubt the Yiga are dumb enough to try anything during the day. The message the Yu clan left behind, we have taken Zelda to the carved out heart of the towering twins. Twins must be connected to Dueling Peak Stable, but that's all I've got. Huh? Chirps and warbles around the story are far too important to ignore. The princess's life could be on the line. Keep your eyes and ears open for any new clues. So the carved out heart of the twins. I don't know, I'm going to go down the middle here, I guess. See if I can find anything. Unless. No. Well. I'm gonna go check behind there. No, I already did that. That's right, because there's that weird thing there. Weird core puzzle I don't know how to solve. Okay. So we carved out heart. Probably a cave. In the middle of them, somewhere. Um. Right here. You see anything good? Garshan. Oh, it's you. It's don't tell me. Ah. That's it. You're the fellow I saw at New Serene Stable. What a coincidence. I suppose fate really wanted the two of us to run into each other again. Ah. I'm sure I remember my brothers, the two fools talking in circles about swords and beasts. <laughs> I finally got fed up with them and decided to go on a solo adventure exploring my favorite caves and ruins. You're alone too, right? Alone is good. It means you don't put up with endless and inane arguments. Sometimes I do miss having people to talk to, but still, it's better this way. Okay. I, mean, I would think I'm kind of in the heart of twins right now. This is kind of the middle, maybe. Zolf is over there. Huh. I do. It's a lot easier to be out here. There we go. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. Swaps go. Oh, two. That's two. Well, I don't see where that guy's. The other is lawful straps. Oh, wait. Bouncy boomerang. Okay. Um, where? I'm already past the halfway point of this thing. That would be, that's what I would think the heart would be. Might be on the second level. Let's just go through the whole thing though. See if we find any, any places that would be considered the heart. Carved out heart. Poor up dude and no. Hey, tomatoes. Nice. Alright, what's up here? You good? No, not really. Vantage point, which is nice, I guess. Let's see if we can hit that guy. Yep, close enough, anyways. Is there anything else around here? Huh. There's a dragon. Major, okay. You taking care of everyone yet? <laughs> Even the playing field. Or die? Oh wait, he didn't die. He must not have been in deep enough water. All right. Um, yeah, dude. Okay. Fight, 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 fight. Come on, go fight him. Really? You're not gonna fight him? Get closer. Come on. Can't you see him? Come on, go back. Go over there and fight. Dude, these metal boats suck. They make you dumb. And you're already starting pretty dumb. Come on, fight already. Stealthy. There, now you can't hear me. Yes. Darn it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Isso não dói. This thing's gonna die almost here. Okay, where's the other dude's stuff? Toasty Silent Shroom. Cool. Okay, anything else? Okay, Dragon Bone Bokobo. Definitely an upgrade. <laughs> okay. Um Balloon Club, interesting. Okay, just suck. Um We can do this one. We can get this one out. So that does healing. And so it'll still take me down, but heal me, right? Kinda. Not really, because it does take the other one out. Huh. It does break my heart. I mean, when I'm up in the top, it's fine. So where's the heart of the twin near the twins? I'm too far away now. Well, let's go up here, maybe. Switch off to something else. Uh, we'll do this one again. the heart of the twin. Is it up top? I mean, I already went into one thing up top. I really don't know where this thing is. I'm thinking... Maybe on the other side. rocks though. Nothing here. Um hmm. Where are you? Ah, sneaky river snail. I need this. Who are you? This goes treasure, dude. Yeah. Well, I need more info about that. Hello there. I hope your travels are treating you well. So I take it if you're struck up, a, if you've struck up a conversation with a fashion board type, like, all type like me, all the way out here, you must also be searching for pieces in this goes treasure. Treasure? Oh, you don't know? There was once a legendary bandit by the name of Misko. 
But thievery isn't what made them a legend. It was their unparalleled fashion sense. <laughs> it said that Misko collected rare outfits from all over the world and hid their pieces throughout Hyrule. <laughs> it may only be a story, but who could resist the call of garments like that? For fashion lovers like me, Misko's treasure is the ultimate score. That's why we're out in force trying to find it. Ah. So, fate and fashion must have brought the two of us together right here. Shall I tell you where pieces of Misko's treasure are said to be hidden? Tell me. <laughs> I thought that might strike your fashionable fancy. Now, do you have a map? Here's what I've heard. Right there, a piece of a fairly wild outfit from Misko's collection said to fill the wearer with powers around here. So wild, fill the wearer with power. Um, definitely the, uh, uh, what should we call it? Barbarian armor of some sort. A piece from a quite stylish outfit from Misko's collection said to let you quickly climb cliffs might be here. Oh good, another part of the climbing armor. That'll be good. Piece from a very snappy outfit from Misko's collection said to keep you safe in lightning is around here. Maybe the rubber one? That's cool. <laughs> All these details come from my various fashion forward friends who travel in other regions. But I'm not sure any of these treasures are quite right for me, given I don't like to battle and I don't climb cliffs. If you're attempting a difficult journey, I'm sure such styles could come in handy. Oh. By the way, could it be that the reason you're traveling is to look for the great fairies? Ah. Around here, the closest one would be the great fairy Kotera. She should be near Dilling Peak Stable around here, if I recall that correctly. <laughs> yeah, I'm already done with that. If you are near there, you should stop by and ask for your clothing to get blessed. Oh, oh sorry, I've been on and on. It's been a while since I've been able to talk fashion with anyone. Time for me to get back to searching for Misko's legendary outfits. Good luck and goodbye. Okay. Well. Don't see any bloopies. <laughs> Dive into a cave. Wait, this is other thing coming down the road. Oh. oh, it's you, the master of underpants excellence, the one who showed us all how to achieve more wearing less. <laughs> Thanks for your help with all that. What, my no outfit? I've always been a stylish person, a real cutting-edge sort, not to toot my own horn. Mm. I joined the Zonai survey team purely because I thought their outfit was so unfashionable that it'd be fashionable. But that whole underpants debacle made me realize I'm not cut out to be a surveyor of ruins. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have reinvented myself yet again. Unfashionable fashion is so last year anyway, a true cheek never goes out of style. Now I'm looking for a certain thing near here that I think would make, a, make quite a fashion statement, so I hope. I'm also the sole person looking for it, and that makes me... The one and only member of the fashion survey team. Okay, so there's something near here. Like what? They just follow you? Uh, I mean, I already got those caves on the map right here, but. The shrine there. I mean, this is the heart here, right? Is the entrance on the other side of one of these, maybe? Or did I just not do well enough on these caves and didn't find what I was looking for? So I'm right in the middle right now. Let's go ahead and put on the climbing bandana. over there, so let's go for that. If it is a ledge, I should be able to make it, even if I'm jumping a bit. And there's grass on it. Well, weeds of some sort. So I should be able to get on it, right? Yeah, it definitely looks like a ledge. Okay. Um... See anything from here? No. You know what? Um, let's do this. 
this one. Oh, that just goes back to pen. Oh wait, no. It doesn't, does it? Oh wait. Yes, it does. Alright. So that doesn't help. Okay, well. I mean, Kiara's in the floor is right up there. Hmm. Seems so weird. Why are you coming at me from that direction, cool one? Here, there's a rush room here we can grab. There's one down there too. I don't know if these are important enough to grab, but might as well, right? While I'm here. Missing something. Major. Yeah, that's the other cave that I already went in. I miss something on that one though. Climb. Um, hmm. Let's go back around here. Let's maybe get to the top of it and see what that does for us. Absolutely not my favorite thing. <laughs> I already don't like climbing. I thought that uh, the ascend feature was one of the best things ever. Still think it <laughs> because I really don't like climbing like this. But sometimes you just gotta climb. Um, and also, just not being able to figure out where things are kind of sucks. Why did it get so dark all of a sudden? Oh, it's probably just because I'm in the shadow there, so the moon doesn't show up. Nice. Okay. Now time to get up the rest of the way. Major. I wonder if it would have been easier just to go over to that tower over there and get shot up into the air to reach the top of this. <laughs> probably would have. Come on. You can do it, Link. Okay, we're up here. Very top of everything. Well, not very top. We're right around the very top. It's morning again. Here's the other cave. Let me go ahead and go in this cave again. This is a Misco treasure one. What did I get from here? I don't even remember what I got from here.
I remember this being a lot harder. <laughs> that was a long time ago, though. No, I was saying. Didn't have a weapon. Where did the... There it is. I don't know why any of these like like stones, because they seem pretty useless, but maybe they're not. One, that's right. I don't remember. I still don't remember which piece of armor it was, but I remember the thing. Oh, was this the tingle? This might have been the tingle one, dude. No. Okay. Yeah, that might have been the tingle one. Pretty sure I have a tingle one, anyways. <laughs> I seem to remember there being a lousy, a lousy one in that one. And it totally not being worth all the struggle I went through to get there. Didn't I come up here before? Pretty sure I did. Yeah, there's a Korok. It's found. So where the heck is this thing? The heart of the twins. Makes no sense. What are you guys doing here? I don't know what this is. this. This whole area looks like a monster thing, but it might be a Yuga thing. It definitely looks like a, a cage of some sort. Okay, we might have found it here. Oh, cut me. The valiant golden haired knight known as Link would move such a sturdy cage like that. Okay, you're a Yiga. You're such a Yiga. Wah well, I knew we'd learn some heroic wannabes if we used Zelda's bait. We've even managed to snare you. Hey, don't worry, once we find the real Zelda, we'll, sire, we'll send her to join you, promise. Mm. Alright, everybody, this is definitely the golden haired golden boy. Get him. Yeah, you should learn to send more than three of you. You got in one lucky hit. And I'm not even that good at fighting in this game. <laughs> we'll let you off easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back next time. Be prepared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then here comes Pen, I hope. Yep. <laughs> hey, partner, what are you up to down there? Ah. I've been circling the area for leads. I was sure that the word twins in that vicious letter was referring to dueling peaks. Now I'm not so sure. I found nothing at all anywhere around here. What about you? Have you figured anything out on your end? Oh. Yeah, I just did everything. What? You're saying the Yiga sent us that letter all to lure you into a trap? Or why would the Yiga give a hoot about you, partner? Kind of tooting your own horn there a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Anyway, getting back on track here, it's a huge relief knowing that Princess Zelda hasn't actually been kidnapped. Mm. We've worked together to chase ten of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Mm. Getting to the bottom of the mystery will no doubt improve your reputation. Tracy will be happy to hear about your efforts. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. It's a groupie. Any mm. bonus? This story has been really well lately. Interesting. So the bonus is result. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Purple would be okay. I'm gonna, I'll head off and start pecking away at an article about the Egg Clan scheme. People need to know the truth. So long. Okay, so that one took longer than I expected. We're already over halfway done with this episode, just trying to figure this out. Um, so that's kind of crazy. Alright, um, where do we go? I don't see any other stables around here. I would assume there'd be one somewhere around here. There's one here. And you can kind of see them on the map if you know what you're looking for. And if you look at it here, you can see it's got like this kind of look to it. Because, I mean, this is like the only place over in this area that doesn't have a stable. Pretty much. Well, that and Gerudo. <laughs> Wait, what is this? I mean, that's a stable. Is that a stable? I think it is. All right, we are gonna try and go there. Um, dude, there's nothing super close to it. Well, let's go here first. We'll talk to these people here and see, but then we're gonna head this way, I think. Yeah, Gerudo really is the only other place that doesn't have one, but that's kind of expected because there's like no roads. It's just pure desert. Over here, though, there are roads, and so you would expect there to be some sort of stable. All right, um, let's go ahead and head over to this one real quick. You know what? I do not need the climbing thing right now. See, those things, those cows, that's what I'm thinking is a tusk thing. Anybody have anything to say? No? Just you? I don't want to talk to you. Challengers. Taking care of the horses. I think I gotta talk to this guy since I think this is the one. Hello, mind if I ask you about something that's troubling my thoughts? Have you perchance seen a rather strange animal around here? Strange animal? That's right, it was a stocky animal that was whiter than a horse and had strange horns, but not like a cows or goats. Oh, and it had tusks that made the beast look like a little brute. I saw the animal once in the forest off to the east. I rushed closer to get a good look, but it ran off by the time I got there. So the east, yes. That's exactly where I thought that thing was. Okay, good, 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 good. I've never seen anything like it, I must say. The whole experience was shocking. Some travelers passed through here from Lakeside Stable and said they'd seen a similar animal. So maybe I'll find it again somewhere. Okay, we are heading that way. Okay, um... Where exactly is this? I should probably check my map. Heading the right way? Yeah. Because where was that? There, this one. Okay, so if I'm here, I just have to head directly east pretty much. Okay. I mean, I can always follow the road, but that's boring. Let's go cross country here. Oh, there's a bunch of enemies over there. Maybe it wouldn't have been so boring, but also wouldn't have been my cup of tea. You all know, at least if you've been watching me long enough, that I prefer not to fight if I don't have to. In most cases.
Ooh, a Gleok. That's pretty awesome. Maybe a fire Gleok? No, an electric Gleok. Okay, let's mark you. Oh, I already did. <laughs> Must have seen that before. And I don't remember it at all. What's at the top of that thing? That's a very high pillar. The Chino Plain Barrows. Let's go! Okay, now this is where I need my climbing gear. <laughs> Horses over there. Oh, yeah, this isn't very far up at all. Just looked high. You better be good. Probably isn't. Forest Dweller Spear. Bursting materials attached to the spear had been reused again and again. That might be useful. It's a six and it's a long throw. Well, here's a six. <laughs> okay, that works. Okay. Um, what are you? Oh, you're fighting? Dude. I'll help you out. There's a Korok thing. Hi. What, you think you beat him? You didn't beat him. I beat him. Oh, are you a traveler? You don't look like any traveling merchants I've ever seen before. My name's Kalisa. I am a legendary treasure hunter of the Garuda. Nice to meet you. Have you heard about the strange phenomenon going on all over the region's Hyrule? Ah. Islands split in the sky and caves opening up everywhere? It's a dream come true for a treasure hunter. Mm. As a legendary treasure hunter, I am more than happy to share some tips with you. Keep making new discoveries is being able to get somewhere high up. A cliff, ruins that have fallen from the sky, as long as it's high up, it'll work just fine. Ah. So get high up and look around. You're bound to discover all kinds of things. I better get going, but I hope we meet again. So work. Well, that was less than helpful. I already knew getting high up was important. Oh, I forgot to do that Korok thing. Oh well. That would have been an easy Korok puzzle, but I'm already all the way over here. Don't want to deal with it. Okay, where am I at now? Stuff is over here, right? Yeah, it's right here. Right above a book point. So I'm just keep going. Could try to get up there. I if it's worth it. Well, I do have to go that way. But this does look like a place where there would be a lot, of, a lot of caves. Oh, oh there's a shrine. <laughs> it's an easy one to see, actually. Now, to get to it, that's another story. I should have gone up. Okay, we can always get part way up this way. Get some fire fruit. Okay. And here we go. A long climb. Ah, more climbing. <laughs> Yeah, the climbing part of this game is not the funnest. At least it's not raining down here. That's good. I do have two pieces of froggy armor. So that would help, but uh, I need more than two.
Man, this is taking forever. Too bad you can't like speed this up. I could that in I could do that in the uh, in the recording, so you guys will watch me speed up sped up. But I've tried to keep editing down to a minimum in these. Just so you get the real experience. Not sure if that's a good thing or not, but it's what I've chosen to do. <laughs> There's the shrine. And there we go. Okay. Yeah. I'll just climb on it. It's not guaranteed, but if I go down there, it'll be one of those that I can ascend through, so... Dude, this one came down from the sky, it looks like. Alright, as far as time left, we barely have enough time to do the shrine. Um, but we should be able to finish it probably, as long as it's not a super hard one. But we won't be able to do the last, uh, well, this penance quest. I, it's the last one that I know of. There might be more, but I don't know of any more. Building bridges. Okay. I mean, this should be easy enough, right? <laughs> um, what's this one got? Looks like this one's just too far away. But... Too far away to do it from up there, so I gotta do it from over here. <laughs> that doesn't help me at all. Wow, okay, that almost killed me. Um. the way to do it? I don't even know. Seems to be fine, but I don't know if it's high enough. Nope. A little bit higher. And where's the treasure chest in this anyways? I don't see it right now. Um... This one seems to be the same. Even if I run out of it from the side, though. Or just do that. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
what do we got here? Block. So if we attach it to a block, it's up there. Just yet. No. Okay. Still don't know where this treasure chest is. There it is. <laughs> it's not doable. Okay. okay, so this whole thing is movable. Stay. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay, that was an easy chest. Thought it'd be harder. Lord Zonite, nice. Yeah, that's everything, yep. Alright. That was a very simple shrine, actually. It was basically as easy as I thought it would be. I just got a little hung up on the one part trying to make it high enough in the middle of that that first major bridge um, when actually all I needed to do was get to the other side because I was high enough to glide down. Oh well. All right, um, we have reached the end of our normal episode length, so we will go ahead and call it good for now. Um, we are just about to where that uh, stable should be. In fact, this might be the shrine for that stable. Yeah, there it is. Let's just glide down to the stable. And we will start the next episode just like we did on this one. Just on top of the horse. <laughs> Alright, well, that is it for our episode. Thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day.